Hello, Dagaho. So today I wanna quickly show you guys how you can read on your phone or your tablet anywhere you go. And um, we're talking about reading Chinese here. This works for both Cantonese and Mandarin. Um, when I first started off reading Chinese, a lot of what I did was intensive reading. So working with pages or quite short text and reading over it many times over. But um, recently, as I've got better and better, I've found it more and more useful just to read. Uh, started off with shorter stories and then books and novels and whatever I can get my hands on, really, and just read large amounts of like read a, read a large volume of material and just expose myself as much as possible. Um, and I use uh, an app on my phone, Pleco, to help me so I can have all the stuff on my phone wherever I go and practice reading wherever I go. So, first, um, on your phone, you want to have two apps. Now, the first one, which I've already mentioned, is Pleco. It's the one on, app on the right with the blue background with the white character for fish over the top. Um, and the second app I use is the Google Docs app. Um, this isn't necessary, but it's what I, how I like to use it. Um, another alternative is you can just use Facebook Messenger, and I'll explain a bit later. So first of all, let's go into the app itself and have a quick look. So here, this is Pleco, and you've got all the... Uh, options down the side here so if you first download the app it's not going to be set for Cantonese so the bit the default setting is Mandarin so what you're going to have to do is go down to the settings folder here and then look under languages and text <clears throat> you can see I've got a set of traditional characters and then underneath it's split into two sections you can see Mandarin and here I've got the phonetic system turned off and hide example pronunciation and underneath I've ticked show Cantonese and I've set the, Yuping, the phonetic system to Yuping you see it also has Yupping with Superscript and it also has Yale as well, so you can pick whichever one you like the most. Um, I like Yupping because that's the one I use first. So, yeah, this is a extension you need to download onto the app, but it's free. It's completely free, so that's completely fine. So once you have it set to whatever you want, the next thing is to use the reader. So if I scroll up here, here's the reader, and if you click on it, um, there's a few options here, so there's open a document, and that's documents that you've saved in the app, which is what I'm using. There's a web reader, which um, I don't think it's part of the default app. I've paid, I've bought one of the add-ons and got a few extra features, so I think the web reader doesn't come with the app, but it's an add-on. And then you have the clipboard reader. This is really useful, so say if someone's texting me, I just tap on uh, the clipboard and you can just you you just copy the copy the um copy what they text you and then you can go over to Plague and see exactly what they type so that's useful for that and then lyrics reader I don't use lyrics reader at all so I'm gonna talk about the keyboard reader and open documents so first of all uh, I've mentioned briefly you can actually store documents inside Pleco so if you look here here is, I've read the first seven chapters of this book, Lao Mian Ho Yu Kong, which is like Men Can't Be Poor, right? So, um, there's 15 chapters total, so I'm going to show you how I get the 15th chapter on here, and then I'm going to show you how the reader works. So, first of all, is you want to get whatever it is you're reading into your clipboard. Um, and this is where I say I use Google Docs. So, I have all of my books separated into chapters in Google Docs just for ease of access. So you want to look for the document you want. In this case, it's chapter 15. Select it and click on the edit option so you can copy the whole text. Click the select all option. And here, because the chapter is pretty long, um, in this case especially, the app can um, be a bit slow. So... You just have to be patient on this one, and then eventually, when it comes to you, click the copy button. So I'm going to go and wait until it comes back. Okay, so it's copied now. So then I click the copy button, and now the entire chapter or text I want to read and save onto my phone is in my clipboard. 
the other alternative I do is on Facebook Messenger, I send it to myself. I message, you can message things to yourself. So I message the entire text to myself and just copy out the Facebook Messenger. Um, that usually works um, better for longer text because it doesn't have the same freezing problem um, as it does when I work with Google Docs. So anyway, so this is the um, final chapter of the book I'm reading. And at the moment, it's copied into my clipboard. So how do I save onto the phone? This is really easy. You click the save button on the top and then choose your folder location. So here's the book I'm reading. Lam Yanam Hoya Kong, Men Can't Be Poor. So I click there. Name it, chapter 15. Click save. And there, that's it. So I can scroll through, see all of the... Um, and this is all with me wherever I go. And the brilliant thing about this app is if I say don't know the word, like say Ganjung, uh, I say, oh, what does that mean? It's nervous, so, but what does that mean? And um, I can I can see what it means and it comes up with the ping and the English. And then also I have text-to-speech option. Um, and you can do all these to basically help you get through the book and just get to grips with what you're reading so you can just keep reading and enjoy the story and if I say get to page if I just scroll through and I get to say page here at the bottom 18 out of 55 for this chapter and I close the app um, if I go back into it again still 18 out of 55 so it saves where, you're, where you are and to close the documents you just click clear all like that and see it, it, it clears the all of them apart from the ones that you got open. So because I have chapter 15 open, it didn't clear it then. So if I just go clipboard reader and then close again, there you go. So if I go into my file manager down here and reopen chapter 15, it's still remembered where you are. Um, but if you don't want to trust it, another thing you can do is screenshot. Uh, screenshot where you are and then you have it saved in your pictures likewise sometimes what I like to do there is a flashcard function in here actually so if um, I just pick a word and you click the plus it creates a flashcard and there is a flashcard system in the app or because I, I prefer to use Anki so what I, what I do is I simply screenshot the new words like that and then when it comes to the end of the chapter once I've finished I just scroll through the pictures on my phone it's just a bit of a refresher after I've read it for the new words um, so that's it this is super useful because now basically I have entire books I can read on my phone wherever I go spare time here there and um, waiting for the bus on the train on the toilet wherever so um, that's it for today I really hope you guys found it useful if you did then please remember to give me a thumbs up like and share and I'll see you guys in the next video but I'll see you again. Bye bye.